Hey glampers, Mike and Joni here of Those Who Glamp Together. It's Black Friday, we're going camping. Not much for shopping anyway, so. We were invited to the Mohican State Park by Dave and Andrea of following the Fitches, so we're gonna go follow the Fitches. Join <laughs> us. Hey Glampers, we made it to our campsite. We've been here a while, we've been doing some walking and stuff, looking around. But we followed the Fitches and we made it right beside them. And then over here, we've got the Wagners who are here. And I guess we're waiting for one more to show up. Uh, Kicking it with Kenny, I think, is coming. So we'll see how this weekend goes. It should be a pretty fun weekend, so we'll enjoy it. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we are here with following the Fitches, Andrea and Dave, and kicking it with Kenny, Jackie and Kenny. We got a few questions just to get to know them better, so we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Uh, the Fitches. Who made the first move in the relationship? <laughs> wow. Me. Yeah. But I was shot down. He was. So I guess she gets the win for that. <laughs> No, you still made the first move. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how about Kenny and Jackie? Who made the first move? Who made the first move? Definitely the Kenny. I made the first move, and then I made the last move. <laughs> no, I made the first move. Oh, you guys need to hold hands right now. Right? I'll keep 100. Did I keep to make the first move? You definitely, yeah. He was Did shot you down. say yes he the was first shot. Time? No, absolutely not. My, my first sister ran my him away move. so many times. Like... <laughs> Maybe for like the first year. Yeah, I, I he just, just told but he, her. He was, he was uh, persistent. He just kept coming back and kept coming back. I kept telling us to just be patient. But you know, you, you be all right. You ain't got to love me now. You learn to love me later. Just come on and hang out with me. You made it happen. <laughs> okay. Okay, cut. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> She's like, like, move on. She's like, we've only done one question and we're in trouble. <laughs> all right, we'll go with question number two. Who is more likely to ask for directions? <laughs> Dave's like, I'm not lost. answering that. I get lost in a box. <laughs> I would ask if I need to. I'm not above asking, but you know, you don't have to. But I never need to. <laughs> you don't need to nowadays. Yeah. 
we have our dash camera rolling when we're going places. There are some things that, uh, which uh, conversations that happen about directions when we're going camping that uh, would be humorous. <laughs> yeah, we probably should. Well, ours aren't ever funny. Ours are more arguments. That's what we have. <laughs> yeah. we He's argue. like, you can't tell me to turn right as the road is right next to us. <laughs> like a ten foot notice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about Kenny and Jackie? Who would ask? Who's more likely? Oh, she's raising her hand. That would right be away. me. Yeah, because he thinks he knows everything, so. He doesn't want to stop anywhere, ask for directions. We'll just, we'll drive around in circles all day before he'll want to stop and ask for directions. Hang on, so, uh, definitely me. Yeah, QD, yeah. she probably, I really, I don't need, I mean, I, I, I got a pretty good sense of directions anyway, so I'm. That age. Yeah, I get that to QD. Okay. Yeah, I get that to QD. <laughs> all right. This one is one of my favorite questions, but it's kind of a two in one, but I think they mean the same. Who is more adventurous and spontaneous? I kind of can guess this answer. Yeah, me too. I'm more adventurous, but I'm a planner. Okay. Like, if that Are makes you more sense. spontaneous? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh wow, this is my first one. I. Yeah, I, I don't have to make plans to go do anything. You know, basically nothing. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, that's how he is. Where I'm like, well, wait, where are we going? Yeah. Well, wait, do I have enough food? Do we have enough this? Like, <laughs> what about the dog? On the way, yeah. We yeah. Stop if we need something. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about you guys? Who's more adventurous <laughs> and spontaneous? Yeah, I'm Absolutely. definitely about that. I'm definitely about that adventure, and um, and I'm real spontaneous. I mean, I like I don't make no plans for nothing. Even when I make plans, they don't. They don't that's why I make plans because they don't that's, never happen like I plan. That's probably why you come show up late. I, but I don't. I, I try not. I don't plan to come up late. So I try to. I try to do the best. I I'm gonna do better like doing it. But that's how I'm. I'm more adventurous, and I'm on the spontaneous tip. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. Here's another two in one. Who is more organized and is the planner? Okay. <laughs> I don't think we agree. I would agree. No, oh, okay. I would agree with that. Concur. Yeah. How about Jackie, Kenny? Say it again. What's that again? Who is more organized or who is more of the planner? <laughs> I don't have no organization. I mean, yeah, I'm yeah, definitely more organized. Kitty, he he's all over the place with everything. That's so. why he has you. Yeah. Well, I have her. Yeah. Yeah. Without her, I would probably be lost. That's but true. Some kind of way, I find my way. I think though, but yeah, but she's I'm. I kind of cutie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to flip this question because we've asked this one before. Um, I'm going to flip it of who gets into bed first. I usually say who gets out of bed first, but I'm going to say who goes to bed first. Me. Yeah. By several hours, two, three hours. Now, is it kind of who gets <laughs> out of bed day. last? Like who gets yeah. out of bed I'm first? I'm a morning person, so I'm first yeah. to bed, but I'm also the first First out. out. But she oh. goes to bed like two, you know nine o'clock. Yeah, I did that beauty too. rest. Well, I did that too in like you know third grade, but um, <laughs> you know, I get to bed like one or two on work nights, I mean, one o'clock probably. Wow, an average I'd say. And how about the two of you guys? Me, I'm in bed first. In bed first, and are Absolutely. you out of bed first? No, no. <laughs> no, she's right like eight hours. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, she's right, but um. But, you know, with the power of editing, I, I would say it just to be funny with us right now. She go to bed first, but when I get in bed, I, I wake her up when I get in there. <laughs> oh, that's one in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going I'm, in there. I'm, you, know, I'm, you know, this is awesome. You're I mean, married. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is kind of cool. Like, we do this game plan. This is like, this is cool. I mean, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to keep the questions, like, you know. The I'm trying to keep like, them PG, you just but you just how can't Kenny would answer. Yeah, man. Ask Kenny, what does he think? Oh man, I, I'm gonna play that game. Ask Start Kenny. answering like it's your own channel. Oh yeah, man. I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one like like, like Jody gonna do. I'm gonna play the game. I'm gonna ask the question and answer myself. That's what I'm gonna do. I can't wait to play that game myself. It's gonna be a hit. I know all the questions. I know all the answers. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Who cooks the most? Probably me. Yeah, probably. I mean, he does if it's like grilling and stuff outside, but I do all like yeah. the indoor if it's like oven or stove or like sometimes stuff I get, inside. She works late hours, so I get stuff going sometimes. Yeah. But she'll finish it, you know, when she gets home. Perfect but timing, honey. Yeah. I can like get the stuff out, start the oven, start the stove, or whatever it is, and yeah. put it in there. But yeah, taking it out—it's like a team effort. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. all right, how about for you guys? Who cooks the most? I used to, but um, Kitty do most of all the cooking. Now Kitty, she does all mostly. Mostly all of it. All. Don't say mostly. But he did. He was like a great, well, he still is a great cook, I think. But I haven't 
had any of his cooking. I don't know how long, but he would cook like all the time. Yeah, well, yeah, but, you cook yeah. all, but she does, and this she does, and she does all the cleaning. You, then. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, she getting better, you know. I mean, I can sort of practice make perfect. So oh, she keep it going. She getting better. She getting better, you know. And, and I applaud you for that. I mean, you, you, you know. Thank you. I you take your time. You, you be good. I mean, Thank your cook is great. You'll be all right. Oh, that's so funny. Thank you. All right. So we're gonna. I'm probably horrible. I'm probably missing. Kenny, you probably need to get that shovel that you had last right? night out and keep digging. Right. Just keep I, digging. I love it. You'll hit the other end eventually. <laughs> All right. So who shops the most? And this could include your Amazon purchases. Mm. That's shopping. I That's shopping, but yeah. I mean, I probably, I probably do that. More. I mean, I do the grocery shopping, but if we're talking oh, just like don't count. outside of stuff <laughs> like that, I'd say him. Yeah, it's never at a store though. Like I don't go to it's store. It's only yeah. If mm. I go to a store, like I know what aisle it's in before I get there, and I walk in. Whatever the least, you know. You conquer. Yeah, you I conquer the that store. Spot, to that yes. Bend, and I get that. No, item. not <laughs> if we're talking like Lowe's or Home Depot or something. No. You walk up and down all these aisles, and then you're like, oh, I gotta look at this. Oh wait, now I gotta go look at this. Oh, I forgot I needed to look at this. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I mean, maybe we need to be more specific about what kinds of stores. Yeah, most of the, like all the online stuff though, I, I just shop yeah. online. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah, anymore. Unless it's kind it's of like a hard a, question to ask because yeah. everybody does mm -hmm. it online. The, the only asterisk of that is like local stores. Like we like to use, like buy local stuff, you know, if we can. Yeah. Get it online if we can do that. How about for you guys then? Who shops I do the most? All the shop. And I'm cold with it. I go like a cutie. She, I mean, for real, for real. Like, she, like I mean, I can go to the store. I put her whole outfit together with everything. I do all the shop. I'm telling you, like yeah. he does from everything. groceries yeah. to clothing. Even with, even with our home business, Depot. the house, business, home, Sounds yeah. Like a perfect yeah. Permanent. But I like, do you're every. like good that he's doing that. Right. She oh, ain't yeah. gotta go to store. I yeah. pick her outfit up, everything. She might go to she, I mean, she's great picking her own outfit, so she don't buy off the mannequin or nothing. You buy, you pretty good buying you. Mm -hmm. But when I, I'm, when I, she don't have to worry. about I go like, are we going out to an event? You know, and things. I go buy her. I buy her. Talked about her shoes, everything. I'm cold oh. with it. You know, so I do that. Good job. Always, baby, teamwork, dreamwork. I was actually just thinking that. <laughs> yeah, that's the true answer. I'm telling you. I mean, that's the true answer. Joe coming up. Have the husbands dress the wives. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jackie's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who has the biggest sweet tooth? Yeah, not, not me. Yeah. Totally me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I really Definitely me. Stuff like that. I mean, unless it's gummy many. worms. When I'm with Kenny camping, sometimes you know that rule gets broken. But for the oh, most yeah. part, I don't eat stuff like that mostly. So Kenny and Jackie, who has the biggest sweet tooth? Cutie does. I do. <laughs> Man, you eat of everything. You know you got the biggest. Tooth. You don't think you do? Absolutely not. Like she every now and then, I'll have like a you know urge or a taste just to have something sweet, but I don't eat a lot of. Sweet. But this makes us look bad in these questions. Like, we, hey, everybody else had no, no problem with this. We've been together for over 30 years. I think it's you. All right, all right. Okay, yeah, it's me. It's me, Ru. Usually so. the one that does doesn't want to admit it. Well, I mean, I, well, I, mean, I, you know, I, I put it down. <laughs> but, like, uh, I think, like, lately, like, you do, like, sweet. You always tell me to get so sweet when, you go to, when I go to the store or whatever. Not always, all the time. I know, baby. You got to admit it, baby. You're in, <laughs> it's just the truth. <laughs> we can't, I mean, it has, we have, we have fun here okay, on the fire. that's fine. Admit I'll take it. it. I'll take it. Oh. I'll take it. That, that'll be me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Takes they're going. Patrick. They're going. <laughs> they're going to have to go home and have a discussion. Right. <laughs> that was a to be continued question. Yeah. It's we true. might have to like come back to that one later. Oh, All right. So who <laughs> along the side of like having the sweet tooth? Right. It's a dating. It is. We are arguing. We used to that music. Come on, but go ahead. You must enjoy the thing. So the next one is a little bit more on the food side of things. Is who's the pickier eater? Oh, there's no question about that. Yeah, <laughs> right me. there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, you've, you've learned that Stick today a little bit. Well, yes, you guys texture. Kind of I've learned texture. this this weekend. Yeah, that might cut sure. up the steak for him. Yeah, <laughs> Mike had to cut my steak off the bone and everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's getting awkward. <laughs> and then how about Kenny and Jackie? Who is the pickier eater? Judy is. Judy's a pickier yeah, eater. Yeah, a pickier eater. Yeah. I eat anything. She got it. Yes, she's more picky eater, though, I would say. I am. I can get more in depth with it, but we're gonna, we gonna we we'll say that for another uh, episode. Another episode. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so I think we can almost guess these answers on this next one, but who drives the camper more? Okay. Yeah. yeah. She has drip. She's actually she pulled it. We were at Mahigan State Park right now. And she's pulled it here. Yeah. Like in the park before. But just to practice. You know, yeah. I do it most of the time. Now I do I will say this. This never gets put on video for our stuff. She does back the truck up to hook it up to the pitch when we mm -hmm. go to leave and everything like yeah. that. And she also when I get out and put leveling blocks in, she'll like pull forward on the blocks and stuff yeah. like that. So while I'm out doing that. Participate, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's easier for me, like when we're hitching up, to stand there and give her the directions on where to move the truck. Yeah. It's for her to stand there and give me the directions. For some reason, when I say you got to move it a smidgen, it doesn't work very well. Oh, like, how much smidgen, is a smidgen? Which a smidgen? Yeah. I mean, no yeah. one knows. All right. So, how about you guys? Who drives the camper more? I, I, I do it mostly all the driving. I mean, I, I'm gonna do all the driving. I'm gonna do all. I'm gonna, I, you know, it's a, it's a I would like to drive it. I think I can, but he. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gonna we gonna do that, but I do, okay. but like yeah. she, I do most of the, uh, I do all the driving, and then like but he will let me sometimes. back up to hook up and all that kind of little stuff. Yeah, I do little stuff. Like, little stuff. That's why I got that that that, uh, that shirt that I wear a lot. I say sorry for what I said when I was back in the back camper. Up. Yeah, I let her have it all the time, you know. <laughs> but I mean, but I, I'm sorry at the end of it because you know it makes yeah. that, that ruins camper trip sometimes. That's why. Yeah. That's, but yeah, I do all the drive, all the drive, and she do all the riding. So. All right. So the last part of the Q and A we have. Um, it's not a his and her answer. It's you will both either it'll be the same answer or a different answer depending on uh, your past. So uh, the first question is, how many places have you lived address wise before and after you were like before you were married and then you guys can answer like how many houses and addresses you've been in since you've been married? Well, growing up, I mean, I just lived in two houses, both in Westerville, and then we got married, and I'd say we've just had the same address since then. We've run our, we're in our first house still. Yeah, we're still wow. in our first house. I lived in Three two addresses. Places. Yeah. I have only two. Two? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, easy. I'm jealous. Wow. <laughs> I've never. I didn't think I'd meet anybody with less addresses both, than uh, me. Both streets I lived, or both roads I lived on, I had to, I have to spell them every time. Because they're oh. odd names. One was long sassafras. hyphenated, yeah. and the yeah. other sassafras. Yeah. So I have sassafras. to spell it. No matter what I, I give an address, I have to spell it. <laughs> wow, every time. So, very interesting. So if we move, it's going to be somewhere like Main Street or something like that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> something <laughs> easy. Yeah. First Street. We're tired of spelling. Street. Street. Tired of spelling we can't even look at that house. It's on the wrong yeah. name. Yeah. We can't the, pronounce look that. Look at the address, and we might just uh, not even go look at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about Kenny and Jackie? How many addresses have you lived at before you were together and then after you've been together? Well, I lived at one, and then once we got together, we had, I moved into, we bought our, another house, and then the first house, and then the house that we live in now, so three. Wow. Yeah, so for me, two before we got together, and then two wow. since Man. we've been together. Very low numbers. That must be an oddball. Last ball. week, it was like. Yeah, Jeff. Was it was twenty-three. Whoa. Yeah, it was. Bef yeah, twenty-three for they him. They had seven. I've since had nineteen. Yeah. yeah, like man, made a move. Wow. Nineteen. <laughs> his my his dad parents was military. Full of houses. Yeah. Oh right, okay. My yeah. dad was military, so we moved quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Jeff's, but that's Jeff's that parents though. flipped homes, yeah. and they must have been living in the homes when they were because it was like a new address, so he knew right away. Wow, it's yeah. interesting. Okay, so we're going to go on the topic of RVs, and you guys are probably going to have different answers, possibly, or the same. But where would be the top RV destination you have been to? The, your favorite place you've been at when you with your RV? Providence Canyon. Seven Oaks. Oh, baby. <laughs> Seven Oaks. Seven Oaks. For the close second of Providence Canyon. But, uh, yeah, Seven Oaks for wow. sure. And how about Kenny and Jackie? Seven Oaks first and Seven Oaks second. Ain't no sense. <laughs> I would say Putin Bay for me. Oh, yeah. Better than Seven Oaks? Yeah. You said me. You kicked out the club. <laughs> hey, I said she could have a different answer. Thank you. Okay, so. Yeah, look, last I gonna be, we got to talk about this later. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny be like, Off I don't screen. like this, uh, those who <laughs> glance the other couple. This isn't turning out how I shit. thought it was going this, to. I've had this, 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 some, this some great fun to have. I love it. Great. I, so the last question is, and you guys might have the same answer or not, but the your bucket, the top bucket place you want to go to with your RV. I don't 
don't know if it's a top place, but I really want to go see the wild ponies. So I want to go to Chinkatinka and Assateague Island in Outer Banks. Virginia. Yeah. Virginia, yeah. I don't necessarily have one. I think that would be a fun trip too, but I think next year we might do Gatlinburg too. And I don't know yeah. if, if that's a bucket list necessarily. I don't know. I mean, that's your answer, your question, but I don't know. We got married there and next year's our 15 year. Yeah. So it's hold something special for you something guys. Something like that. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then Kenny, how about you? A top RV destination somewhere you haven't been yet that you would like to do? You know, I had to keep, I had to have all the dramatic answers and everything. I'm trying to put, <laughs> But I mean, for I real, made it too serious. Uh, yeah, but, but I mean, like I told you, all I want to do, I, mean, I just told you this other day. I mean, like where we go is like, I don't really have like a favorite place because I mean, wherever long as I'm like, I'm great, with you, I have great mm -hmm. time with great people. So, yeah. But I, what I really want to do is, I told, I just want to, I want to just drive my, we, we used to go to, we go to, we used to go to New York all the time. I just want to go to Times Square though, or Madison Ave though, and drive my RV oh, down. I, just, I want to roll that. I want to roll next to the taxes and everything, bro. Uh, I, I told this the other day. Am I lying, kitty girl? I just want to roll down Madison Ave. With dog. the RV. Pull over right by Bubba Gump. I'm going there, give me some shrimp. They'll go in there. I just told this and I give me. Rolling coal on Madison Avenue. Oh, Madison Avenue, baby. You know, that's all I want to do. And she told me, well, you can't. I said, I ain't got a backup. In one way, we're going down there. And then once we get to the end, we get out of Hudson River and we hit it. I ain't got to do no moves, bro. And I just told her, I'm sorry, y'all. That's, that's what I want to do. Hey, that's great. It's your answer, not mine. That's the most unique answer I've ever I mean, heard. I, I, mean, I don't think nobody else want to do it. I've never I mean, I heard anybody say they want to take their good camper to New York City. Like, bro, you, you know, know what? If you do that, you have to call everybody up so they film it. No, we'll video. And somebody yeah. will drone it. Yeah. Right. I'm telling you, have Jay, every angle. Jay, I'm doing this, Jay. I'm telling you, I told you we just had this conversation. Yeah. Other day. Like, why New York? Like, why, I mean. Man, can you imagine this about all them taxes and all I the homes? I cannot imagine. And here I am, Lord, rolling out, man. Can you imagine them going out past? Them? We rolling out on Madison Ave. <laughs> man, I just think that'd be, I ain't never seen anybody do it. But yeah, that's, that would be great. I don't great. think anybody's seen anybody do it. Yeah. So. You know what the crazy part is? You will be the first and it will be epic. <laughs> It might be the last. Right. It will be <laughs> epic. But I just what I want to do. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to do it. I just, we just had to get here, but that's my answer to that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Kitty? Gatlinburg or Nevada for me. Oh. Gatlinburg or is Nevada. Is there a specific place in Nevada? No specific or just... place. I just, want to, I just think Nevada would be a great place to go and, and camp. Just Sweet. somewhere wow. in the mountains. Somewhere. But I will tell you one thing. We went to Silver Lake, Michigan, and we did the sand dunes, and I'm oh, telling yeah. you yeah. it is an awesome Yeah, place. we went there a couple years ago. Beautiful. Oh, you went there too? Oh, yeah. we've been there. Gosh, we had a blast. Oh, it's a blast. Yeah. 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 Well, we walked up the hill just like the day before. Yeah. We went, we went on the dunes just to see, like, up yeah. top, like, where we were going to be sweet. right yeah. at. Yeah, it was nice. It was a nice That's hill awesome. that we had to walk yeah. up. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Glambers, you have heard from the Fitches, so go check out their channel, Following the Fitches. Subscribe to them. They're fantastic. You'll love what you see there and kicking it with Kenny. Go check him out as well. Smash that subscribe button. You will you will regret it, I promise. No. Yeah, I want to thank you guys for just doing this little time yeah, with us. Thanks, and, uh, yeah, thanks for inviting us. It was a blast. Yeah, thanks for having us here with you too. Yeah. We appreciate it.